What's up? Hey, what's up? So today I'm gonna talk about a few news stories for those of you who have been jonesing for some news. So first we're gonna talk about a girl that figured out the best way to send a nude photo. A girl was texting with a boy back and forth and then she sent him this picture to which he replied, but I want to see you without all that necessary clothing on. So she said, okay, hang on a second. And she sent him a picture of a loading screen. And then he was like, oh, I'm not getting it. Can you send it again? So she said, okay, and she sent him the same picture of a loading screen and then he kept saying well I'm not getting the picture and she just kept sending him that loading screen over and over again and this guy just didn't clue in and she posted it on Twitter and it went viral that is an ingenious way to get rid of a pervy guy that's just hounding you for nude pictures I know there's tons of pervy guys that are always hounding me for nude pictures I just send them seriously though that is great this poor guy's sitting there with his half-cocked penis in his hand waiting for that picture to load so he can finish masturbating and the picture never came and I'm assuming he never came either. He was probably in the corner with his cell phone rocking back and forth like the picture never came, man. The picture never came. It got to the point where he was sending texts saying, I think my phone's broken. I just, I can't get it. I hope this guy went out and bought a brand new phone just so he could get this nude picture. You know, he goes out and buys a brand new phone and then gets in touch with her and he's like, oh, you know, I got a brand new phone, bae. Can you send me that nude picture again? And then she just sends the same loading screen picture and he's like, son of a bitch. In other news, a man has set himself and his house on fire trying to get rid of bed bugs. Seems reasonable to me. If I find bed bugs in my bed, I'm gonna set my house on fire too. Well, he set his apartment on fire. He wasn't living in a house, he was living in an apartment. And what happened was he saw that there was bed bugs, so he doused his mattress in rubbing alcohol, and then he doused himself in rubbing alcohol. And then it all went downhill when he decided to light a cigarette. He lit the cigarette and he went to burn one of the bed bugs and he set his mattress on fire and then he set himself on fire and the whole building was evacuated and he's got very severe burns so I hope he's gonna be okay and I hope he at least killed all the bed bugs. I hope this wasn't in vain. I hope he didn't set himself on fire or set the whole apartment building on fire and then the bed bugs were like what we just like it toasty in here anyway we're just gonna you know, chill in the next apartment and come back later. In other news, a teenage girl and her grandmother caught a naked pervert having sex with their camper van. They stumbled upon this man who was trying to have sex with their tow bar. He was straddling the tow bar on the camper van and the way they describe it, it seems like he was trying to get one of these up his ass. And apparently he was doing it right under a street light at night on a very busy street, just out in public trying to have sex with a camper van. There's a name for these type of people who like to have sex with cars. I think it's mechanophilia. That's a person who likes to have sex with a car. A person who finds a car so sexually attractive that they will try to put their dick in it or apparently put parts of that car inside them. This guy was just out in the open put in a car part in his asshole and not even a car that belongs to him. This was not consensual car sex. He was raping this poor van. This guy traumatized a teenage girl. She doesn't need to see that. How can you unsee that? A guy straddling your van trying to put parts of it inside his body? You can't unsee that. This teenage girl is gonna grow up to be a twisted fuck now thanks to this guy. Well, I hope she doesn't grow up to be a twisted fuck. I'm just saying. That's not something a 15 year old girl should have to see or an elderly grandma. She might have had a heart attack He could have killed a person if you're gonna try to use one of these as a butt plug do it in the privacy of your own home So thanks for watching my news video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed watching it that's what I mean by I hope you enjoyed it. And if you enjoy me and my comedy and my videos, then please subscribe to my channel for much more coming soon. And if you really enjoy this video, hit the like button down below. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. And I will see you guys again.